So when I was in high school, I loved chemistry. I even thought I wanted to be a chemist. Then I took AP Chemistry and changed my mind, but it gave me an appreciation for the periodic table of elements. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? Wait, why is sodium Na and lead is Pb and tungsten only has one U in it? Why is it a W? Ugh, this looks like a job for word nerd. The reason these elements have symbols that don't line up with their names is because the symbol is based on another language's word for that element, for that substance. The Latin word for sodium, for example, is natrium. And lead, similarly, is plumbum. Which leads to our word plumbing, since Roman pipes were made out of lead. The Romans loved lead. When the English and French call tungsten tungsten, it's after a Swedish word meaning heavy stone. But most other European languages, including Swedish, call it something like Wolfram or Wolfram. This comes from a German phrase, Wolfram, which means wolf cream, which itself comes from a Latin phrase, Lupi Spuma, which means wolf's froth. This is somehow referencing the copious amounts of tin that are consumed by that mineral during its extraction. So something about when you melt it down makes a froth. I don't get it, it's weird, but stuff happens. Um, wait, tin? Why is tin SN? Once again, this points to its Latin name, stanum. Tin is an interesting metal, not just because of its symbol on the periodic table of elements, but that we have things named after it, like tin foil and tin can. But what's weird is most of those things aren't made of tin anymore. They're made of aluminium. I'm sorry, I got a little British there. I meant to say aluminum. What a weird and arbitrary difference. I wonder if this will lead to a word nerd story time. So aluminum, historically, has been difficult to isolate. Um, chemically, it's very easy to bond with oxygen and oxidize is very easily. And it mixes well with other metals and it's hard to separate from them. So overall, it's a pain to isolate. However, in 1808, a British chemist named Sir Humphrey Davy created a new way of isolating aluminum. And he called his new element alumium. This is named after the mineral alum, which had been used for a myriad of things for a long time. It's a crystal rock that comes from the ground and it has aluminum in it. Um, they didn't know that at the time. They just called that material alum. And it was used for dyeing. It was used for tanning. It was used for tanning hides, not people. Used for pickling and fireproofing cloth. And there's a ton of uses for this thing. It was a well-known thing, and a lot of people used it. Um, four years after Humphrey Davy isolated alumium, he published a paper and he named it aluminum. Now, at this time, most people talking about aluminum were chemists, not lay folk who were probably still using stone tools at the time. I don't know, I'm not a historian, but the British chemists wanted to make the word sound more elementy. So they called it aluminium. Across the pond, a few years later, an American named Charles Martin Hall created an even more efficient way of extracting aluminum. And he started marketing his process. And through all of his advertising to the lay folk, he called it aluminum. However, in case this wasn't confusing enough, he put the word aluminium on the patent paperwork. So you've got the British guy initially making it with the name aluminum, and then naming it aluminum, and then the British chemists start calling it aluminium, and then you have an American marketing it as aluminum, and then calling it in a paper aluminium. So you've got three different names, five different places you can look to ask yourself how to name it. How do you sort that out? The answer is you don't. What you do is you look at the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry 
and ask them what do you say, and they say both are acceptable. Thank you. International Union of Pure and Applies Chemistry, that's not very pure. Sounds more wishy-washy. But they are etymologists, so I'll forgive them. I do intend to make more chemistry-related videos coming up, don't worry. It's a gold mine. Wait, why is gold AU? Ugh. Okay, I'll get that next time, I promise. Thank you for watching Word Nerd. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.